Hey, well, hello to everyone out there in YouTube land. I hope that everybody's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I know it's been a minute since I've done a grocery haul, and that's because I've been just living off the land, eating here, there, and everywhere. <laughs> Somewhat, you know what I mean? But uh, I just wanted to I just wanted to get a few pantry add-ons. One of my grands is here, so I just got a few little things that, you know, to put together for little meals while they're here and whatnot. So I'm going to start back here. I got this... Uh, what do you call it just some milk for us to drink or for them to drink plus I need to make my um, my kefir now normally the store I went to I wouldn't I shopped there but it doesn't have everything that I would have needed because I would have preferred some grab you know a different type of milk or whatever but that's okay then back here we were almost well I'm not really but my bucatini was gone uh, my I, you know I like a thicker spaghetti or whatever so I just picked this little one up and we made fettuccine last night we had chicken um the angry chicken fettuccine actually so we had that last night but i prefer the ones in the bag the nest the ones that are already rolled up or whatever but they didn't have it so i just uh picked up two of those fettuccines um I, we're gonna have tacos tomorrow so i just because i couldn't remember how many we had left over so i just got a cheap box of that and um, and then just the uh, tortillas got that they needed bread this is the bread they like so I got that um, I was kind of out of almost out of uh, um, olive oil and I'll be making some uh, some delicious cilantro um, marrow very soon so I just said let me get this um, I, I want to get my big one but I, like I said I wasn't at the store that I normally would have shopped at to get a big uh, bulk container of olive oil this is for the pantry of course I'd like to keep this on hand just in case we don't have any and I don't feel like making any <laughs> and I got a couple of bunches of some cilantro love cilantro they didn't have any bad onions uh, oh you know red onions anyway you know I love red onions they didn't have them so I got two just got two of those until I go to my regular store I just had a taste for some bananas so I only got two of those you know I love 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 broccoli slaw so I picked this up this is so delicious with you know lime and a, a lime cilantro dressing oh my goodness or the mayo that I make my goodness so good picked up some red red cabbage shreds I am going to be doing some ferments as well as some you know pickling some things so i got this hoping that i could possibly ferment this this should it should work okay uh to ferment that um and i just got a couple of uh limes you guys know i love my lime but they were two for a dollar you normally like to you can get 10 or 20 of them for a dollar but these were only two two four dollars there whatever but which means this is a sign of the times which means that you should be we should be pickling fermenting or uh, dehydrating or doing whatever we can you know to have fresh things on hand or whatever so and again i said i'll be fermenting and pickling so i just i have a few uh radishes already in the refrigerator so i just like i said i was just getting some add on thing so I just got a few of those just to make maybe a jar full of uh, the uh, the radish I'm gonna pickle pickle those um, I got uh, some carrots already in the fridge but I wanted to pickle um, I think I'll pickle and ferment but anyway pickle some uh, some uh, carrots which was it would be so delicious I'm gonna be doing some uh, ginger also uh, uh, per fermenting and pickling some well pickling some ginger that would be nice and I have some other things I'm going to be pickling I have beets in the refrigerator that I'll be pickling and I have some zucchini that I'm going to do just like dill pickle you know like a dill pickle I'll pickle those and so so anyway I love to have some pickles on hand this is for sandwiches and just to eat as I can uh, they had these oranges on sale matter of fact I better check my receipt and make sure that these were uh, the, the right price so I just got these vintage uh, heirloom uh, navel oranges and I've never had this before if you don't know Honeycrisp is my absolute favorite um, what do you call it my absolute favorite uh, apples 
and they had this uh <laughs> what's like i'll call it a half breed this biracial <laughs> lord forgive me they had this biracial uh this hybrid i'm just joking this hybrid uh i get i think this is some kind of hybrid apple but it's called Sugar Bee. And so I said, oh, this must be close to uh, Honeycrisp. So I said, let me just go ahead and try it. They were at the same price as the Honeycrisp uh, bag that I had. I thought the Honeycrisp had more in it. But I said, well, let me just try it. I hope I like them, though, because I hate when I have a bad apple. Although I can always make a, you know, an apple cobbler from them. Oh, my apple cobblers are so delicious. But anyway, so got that apple cob uh, uh, got these uh, apples. I have some uh, rice wine vinegar. I do like to make, when I pickle things, I like to use rice wine vinegar for some of them. Sometimes champagne vinegar or whatever. Oh, and so for meats, I love, I don't know about you, but I love liverwurst. I love a liverwurst with some, with a pickle on it. Oh my goodness, on some good bread with some sliced red onions. Oh my goodness. And sometimes I just put radishes on them. But anyway, I normally get these, get two of these, but I already just opened one. So I'll just be putting this one in the freezer. They had these on sale. So I just said, well, $2, you can't beat that. It's the store brand, but still just as good. So I got a couple of these um, uh, beer bratwurst. Just got two of those. And then again, still with the store brand for two dollars, you know, because I like we like to I like to put these in pasta dishes and just throw them in the oven just as a you know just to eat or whatever, just to have a little protein snack or whatever. But they also had the hot Italian sausage. What I again I like to put these in pastas as well. Um, so I just got two of those as well. Then. For dairy, another part of my dairy, I got sour cream. This is, I do have some sour cream already in the fridge, so that's why I just got this little tiny small one uh, for uh, the tacos tomorrow. I, lo I like, I always keep butter on hand, so every time, most of every time I shop, I try to pick up one or two, depending on the price, just to have in the freezer, because I do a lot of baking and cooking with them. Actually, I'm going to, um, what do you call it? I'm going to, um, I forgot what you call it. You know what I, because I'm going to make like a caramel uh, loaf, butter, butter loaf, uh, loaf cake. And I'm just going to um, brown the butter. So I'm going to use some brown butter. And then I know you have never, you probably have never, ever had a taste and a hankering for cottage cheese. But boy, did I the other day and I was getting ready to make some. I didn't even have any milk in the house. Uh, not not wet milk. I had some dry milk, but not wet. And I said, "Oh my goodness, I want some uh, cottage cheese so so bad. That's so crazy." So I said, "Let me pick up this." Uh, so while I was out, I said, "Well, let me pick this cottage cheese up because I I never had a date a hunger like that um, for what's my jiggum. And I am putting my um, sourdough to uh, rest for just maybe. A week or something I'm busy so I'm, I just picked this up somebody bought this for me once before and it was really a good uh, sourdough although of course it's not the authentic authentic but anyway let me so and then I was I had on my list uh, jerk seasoning because we had jerk the other day oh my goodness I love right wood but they didn't have it or actually they had a bottle of it but it was um, the spicy. I normally get the medium, so I guess somebody can go get that tomorrow because I have a whole chicken that I want to get that done this week probably because I want to. I like to marinate it at least a day or two in the refrigerator before cooking it. But I think that was all. Let me check my list. Okay, so yeah, beyond the jerk seasoning, only thing I didn't get was sesame seed oil, but I. I'm, I make it because I have an order sitting in my cart for wa at Walmart because I'm doing a, a big order for wa at wa a big pantry order um, at, from Walmart that I have. Uh, so I made because I have like a large quantity of sesame seeds. So I think I can toast those and mix that with an oil, a neutral oil, and 
make my own sesame seed oil because I we love the taste of it. But it was really expensive and I, it was kind of limited where I went just now. It was a kind of limited on how many they they only had three of them, three t t uh, brands, and they were so expensive. I said, oh no, I'm not getting that. Y'all know how cheap I am. So anyway, uh, this is my little haul. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, hope I mention everything that I'll be making. I'm going to be trying to make uh, with the things and I will be coming back prayerfully with my ferments and my pickling and whatnot. Uh, possibly even another one of my um, homemade mayonnaise um, videos. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you so much. Let me know if you're a liverwurst fan. I know everybody don't like liver, but this is so good. And this one is, has bacon. Oh my goodness. And I want to start making my own also, but not right now. But this is so, so, so good. Uh, love, love, love these sandwiches. <laughs> and they're good for you, you know, especially if you have iron issues. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope I like these. Um, let me know if you have had these uh, little biracial babies before. Talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.